Yeah, my wonderful people, make gonna hear this breaking news. Oh, it is a breaking news, and also I can consider it to be a bad news. Today, so let's go to the public of Nigeria as foreign investors of P and G. Ekuno, they don't exit Nigeria with over 310 billion naira asset. These people I'm talking to you, these people I'm referring to, coming to Nigeria, these people never even invest up to a billion naira in Nigerian uh, soil or in Nigerian economy. But look at how much they are going with it. But the funniest part of it, too, and the good news in this message, because they said uh, if one door no close, another one no go open, is that this company now have already approached the Biafran government uh, or Biafran Republic government in exile. Uh, on the possibility of them investing this money in Biafra land. So, uh, you, you see, it's uh, that someone's uh, misfortune can turn to be your own blessing. It is a misfortune for the so-called Zoological Republic of Nigeria. And it is uh, a blessing to the southeastern part of the country. What we need now is for them to uh, sign the Memorandum of Understanding, according to the intel I'm getting here, because my news is always from a very reliable source. So, my wonderful people, they gonna just celebrate this one. Oh. But there's uh, another news oh, or headline of uh, per se I want to bring to our uh, notice or oh, to the hearing of my people because uh, Arsenal uh, Aba Kids, Ya Tunogwe, Abanke, Botunogwe, sometimes we begin to ask, because Kapiarako, eh, we keep on making the same mistakes over and over and over again. Imagine, look at what uh, the so-called uh, Christian Association of Nigeria is telling the Nigerian people. Uh, if we, we in the media has come out to tell you all we know about that churches and religion is the reason why Nigeria still remains where they are, people will come out at the comment section and begin to lambast you, calling you all sorts of names, uh, calling you antichrist, uh, you touch not my anointing. Uh, if you talk about the pastors or the or the this thing, that uh, God is going to kill you, God, you are bringing a curse upon your generation. See, uh, the Satan that uh, turned the, the world the way it is, according to them, oh, that the Satan is the one that uh, um, disobeyed God, and God did not kill Satan. He just gave him power. Go out there and destroy his own creature. Uh, God never even uh, abused Satan or caused him for the, for his entire generation. As I'm talking to you now, sir, Satan are the most uh, 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 richest people we have on earth. Uh, nah? People that you consider to be the money rituals and rest of them, are they worshipping God? People whom you think that they are selling human past for to make money, are they are they worshipping God? Uh, okay, let's uh, divide it now. Uh, people, the poor ones are the Christians. <laughs> Why the rich ones are the Satans? Abi, they don't go to church now. Nah? Even if you see them at the front of the church, my dear, all, of, all those things are formalities. Everybody get what they do. And that is why you also need to do something before something do you. Eh, nah? Because if a dog no do like dog, I swear to God, on the day of Thanksgiving or, or child education, a eh, woman, if you go carry them now, go take and do child education for church. Eh, nah? That's the simple truth. If snake refuse to do like snake, my dear brothers, oh my God, the little kids go use them as belt, tie their, 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 their school uh, uh, uniform and be going to church and going to school, so to say. So every time now, look at what they say. Running to other countries is not the solution. Pray for change. Christian Association of Nigeria President Sultan won Nigerians. Then tell me, I beg you, these uh, people, because uh, this is the reason why the government have not been performing well. Instead of these people to come out now and stage a protest and say, enough is enough. They keep on telling you, pray. Praying. Are you going to their church to pray with empty handed? You will go there even with the hunger in your stomach. They will say, ask you for tithe and offering. Even sleeping in a dilapidated house, these people will also ask you to contribute for mamas and papas' and best days celebration, and even their travels and even their for the volunteer. I mean, lavish uh, lifestyle. They will see the the church members to contribute. It's only in Nigeria you people you will see people that added that says uh, you are like a church rat, my dear. That uh, that word is never depart from Nigerian churches. People who are working in the churches they are just like rats, but people who are working in mosques and other places. They are living large simply because Christianity has not done us any good in Africa. I don't, I didn't uh, 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 dispute the fact that uh, uh, there is no God. No, there is God. I have my own God. You have your own God. But let us face this: the reality squarely, the way it is, that Christianity and the churches are the main problem. Why the so-called uh, government officials have not been doing well? What is God? If I may ask, what is God? Government of the day? Have they been doing the things they're supposed to do? 
He said they will channel the, 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 the uh, imagine if we are coming to tell us that uh, insecurity, the only thing we have to do now is to pray for insecurity to go. Well, why he know exactly why the insecurity is still in Nigeria? He is the cause. Look at uh, Khan. Uh, pray. And I never see Khan condemn the, 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 the bombings of ordinary civilians in the Kaduna. They never condemn it. They, they are warning Nigerians running to other countries. Uh, it's not the only way. Pray. China is pray, they pray before they get to where they are. Taiwan, Japan, uh, US, Canada, even UK that colonize you people. It's only pray when they face difficult situation. Instead of them to find solution to it, they will tell everybody, come on, let's gather and continue praying. Shakaboska, Lakaboska. Speaking what they don't even know the meaning. All in the name of confusing the poor. Anyway, my wonderful people, I beg, if you get this message, like it, comment on it, and make sure you share it. But remember, uh, the foreign investors who are exiting Nigeria is bringing their investment to the Biafra land. Make sure you share this message. Let us go straight to the reason why we are here. Against the backdrop of uh, more exit from the ground operations of the Nigeria by more multinational companies, Nigeria's economy is expected to lose $335 million, about $310 billion naira in foreign direct investment, FDI. The amount represents the combined asset valued of the two latest exit announcements by Procter, uh, okay, Procter and uh, Gamble. P and G, a major global player in the fast-moving consumer goods (FMCG) segment, and Equino, another global player in the upstream oil sector. Uh, Procter and Gamble, P and G, an American multinational consumer goods, says it has plans to transition from local production to slowly importing its products as the firm winds down its on-ground presence. In Nigeria, Equino is exiting after selling its Nigerian businesses, including its share in the Abami oil field, to Nigerian owned energy company Chapel Energies. Explaining the decision, Andre Suten, chief financial officer, PNG said the decision is uh, as a result of the challenging business environment in Nigeria as well as the difficulty in creating U.S. dollar value. On his part, Ekuno says Senior Vice President for Africa uh, Operations, Nena Kuch, in a statement said Nigeria has been an important part of Ekuno's international portfolio over the past 30 years, like three decades. This transaction realizes uh, value and uh, is in line with the Ekuno strategy to optimize its international oil and gas portfolio and focus on core areas in the second half of this year two other major multinational companies glass of meat clean gsk consumer nigeria plc and the sanofi Aventis nigeria limited a french pharmaceutical company pulled out asset estimated at over 800 million dollars from nigeria citing harsh oppressing environment this is what we are we keep saying the president is jumping from one place to another looking for investors why the ones he have in, in his country can't even provide a playing environment or a playing ground for them to continue doing their businesses instead they they, they, they using security and uh, uh, what i call it bad government and uh, uh, using the judiciary eh? Because I know any foreign company that we see what the judiciary is doing in Nigeria and will still continue. Because if they go to court, they don't even guarantee their freedom or their assets uh, are safe. Japa running to other countries is not the solution. Pray for change. Can President Sultan warn Nigerians? Ndara, Ndara, the most stupid and foolish people we have on this earth is this can. The Sultan of Sokoto and President of the Nigerian Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, Alhaj Muhammad Saadi Abubakar, three and the president of the christian association of nigeria can archbishop daniel oko have warned nigerian youth against immigrating from the country they all the citizenry not to lose hope in nigeria despite the economic crisis plaguing the country the deal started this on wednesday in abuja at the fourth quarterly meeting of the nigerian inter-religious council with the team restoration of hope in nigeria oko cautioned the Nigerians against reckless immigration that exposes them to more danger and inhuman treatment. 
up to them. Even if they are even secure in another man's land instead of their own country. He assured Nigerians of hope and opportunities in the country and asked them to pray Clem Maria. The Archbishop argued that the solution to the country problem is not immigration. Then what is the solution? According to him, Nigerians have endured the strife and extreme difficulties. Unfortunately, those who could not bear the situation migrated to other nations in search of greener pastures, commonly known as Japa syndrome. The solution is not in running away to other countries, but in finding ways to restore hope of the citizens in our dear country. Then the youth are the ones that are going to do it right. Instead of you to be talking to the government, if the churches we have in Nigeria, all of them stage a protest and say nothing is, is enough, I tell you, Nigeria country will be the best you can ever uh, imagine or even to live. But look at it now, they will call you to okay, pray, pray. But behind their back, they are going to their sorrow, collecting Garamos goods. Even sometimes they are fighting over the money or honorarium that's being collected when visiting Asorok. That is where we find ourselves. And they said they use. Then the jackpot, pray, pray, kill you there. Dara and dara. According to them, we said Nigeria is blessed with abundant human and natural resources, more than many nations of the world. But we need to get it right on the management of these resources for the good of all. Also, the Sultan said he was in support of the Khan presidency efforts to discourage immigration. He called on Nigerians to pray for the government so that leaders could make good decisions and formulate the right policies that will bring about peace and development. He cautioned against deliberate efforts that could pull down the system. Both the pastors, the Islamic cleric or schoolers or whatever they are, they are one of the problems we are having. After the government, then comes the, the, the religious fathers and mothers and those ones that call them Islamic schoolers. They are the biggest problem we are having in Nigeria. You are asking the youth to come and pray. If the youth now come out now tomorrow and decide that let them, they want to take their country by, by their own self, they want to manage it. All of you will be the ones say we even uh, tell the police and the army to shoot them, to kill them. And at the end, no any justice will be found for them. And now you are telling them, uh, Anyway, my wonderful people, we're going to hear, we go take a break. We are coming back again with another blockbuster. If you like, you share, you comment, and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos coming your way. Our campaign is still going on. No, hashtag Biafran to the world, Biafran to the moon, all hell Biafra. And hashtag Free Mazen Nam De Kano, hashtag Free All The Whole Prisoners of Conscience and all the whole political prisoners in that so-called dungeon called Nigeria. Well, until I come your way again, I am signing out. Bye for now.